We're learning today that multiple agencies arrested more than a dozen people and they're still searching for more following a cockfighting ring bust in Granville County. Thanks for being here. I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Russ Bowen. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis joins us live tonight with that new video of the raid. Mariah. Yeah, the sheriff tells me that this is one of the worst inhumane cases that he's seen in this county. He says his deputies spotted about 50 to 60 people who were out at this site, some who brought thousands of dollars wanting to gamble. And he says his deputies stayed out longer than 24 hours, hoping to find the people responsible. The North Carolina State Highway Patrol releasing this new video, sharing the moment their helicopter captured dozens of people jumping in cars and running into the woods during a cockfighting raid in southern Granville County. It was horrific. It was inhumane. Um, even they had a doctor there that was injecting the uh, birds with adrenaline. Granville County Sheriff Robert Fountain revealed Wednesday that 15 suspects are facing a range of charges connected to the cockfighting operation off of Lawrence Road. We had one of our deputies go in, pay the $50 at the gate. They searched the vehicle and they uh, let him go in. After receiving a tip and a search warrant, Fountain says they worked with several agencies and seized dozens of cages, drugs, guns, more than 40 vehicles on the property. He says they removed around 200 birds, some dead, some brutally injured, and with sharp blades strapped to their legs for fighting. Investigators say Sharon Miller, the land manager, is the only local suspect currently tied to the operation, found with thousands of dollars collected from the event and also suspected of helping organize it. One individual was from Cuba. Um, the other ones were from uh, Mexico descent. And we've kind of narrowed down the place and locations where they are. Homeland Security has asked for one in particular. That one says it's an inhumane case, an event with a $50,000 grand prize on the line. They're focused now locating nearly 25 to 30 other suspects who may also be connected. Anytime there's any illegal activities in your communities, the threat of violence is always there. Yeah, the sheriff says that they've been working with federal partners and also Animal Control, who is actually in charge of figuring out what to do exactly with these seized animals. And they said that they're also continuing to look at, you know, just how they can figure out who the additional suspects are. He says that they're actually, uh, they have so much property here at the site, including a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of vehicles that are still sitting here on their lot. In Granville County, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News.